and the exhibition is called Precious Light. Now, this is the biggest exhibition I've ever done. It's the biggest show I've ever made. There's something like uh, 40 to 50 works of art in here. It took me three, four, five, six years in the making. Uh, cost an absolute fortune. It involved about 30, 40 different people uh, making the whole thing. This is its second show, and we've had it once out in Edinburgh. This is its second time out. I'm absolutely, you know, I'm pathetically excited to see it in this, this fabulous space that they're there. Brilliant. The work I was doing before this show was all kind of pointing towards the epic. Everything I was doing was getting more epic, more colossal, more extravagant, more violent, more uh, apocalyptic. It was sort of pointing me at things I didn't really know that much about, I thought. It was pointing me towards sort of biblical uh, things. And I, I kind of latched on to the, the, the King James Bible very, very quickly. It's the only Bible that I know even a little bit, you know. I'm not a religious man. I don't believe in God. I don't believe in Jesus, you know. How the hell am I going to make work about this thing? For this show, we had some between 30 and 40 people working on this thing over a period of years. Um, and it's an, it's an interesting thing for an artist because the, the biggest thing you're trying to establish there is control. I don't want you to make something like my thing. I want you to make my thing. So I have to be on the, on the case there. How are you going to manage that when those guys are all... You can't possibly be looking over all of their shoulders all the time. But for me, it's a weird thing. Somehow I managed to establish more control through those people. Because you know, the best way you can make your art is to walk into the studio, trip over something, bang your head against the wall, knock a, a pot of paint over and go, wow, look at that. I couldn't do this project from a, a religious point of, point of view. I can only do it from me. You know? And I have to use what I thought was a limited knowledge. But as I've gone through the project over the years, I've discovered that I know or remember more about it than, you know, than I thought I ever would. Um, and you take that a little bit of knowledge and you sort of carry on to, into your subject matter. But it, it veered away from just being about the Bible very quickly to being about uh, people about people living on this earth like me with you know, two feet in the ground and all the things that are kind of happening uh, to us today in, in an attempt to try and make those stories, that, that subject matter, uh, a contemporary thing. I'm a contemporary artist, I want to talk about now. It's not, I'm not illustrating something from then, I'm trying to talk about us, how we live and what's going on now. You know?